Sergio explains whiskey evaporation. Welcome back to Sergio Explains. In this video, I'll talk about the evaporation that can happen inside a whiskey bottle. And that is not a good thing. As a matter of fact, even when a bottle has been stored in ideal conditions and it has never been opened, a small process of evaporation year after year can reduce the level of whiskey inside the bottle and that can in turn jeopardize its quality. Remember, whiskey does not continue aging in the bottle and therefore it does not get any better like wine does. If you have it for many years, whiskey will at best remain the same good quality as it was the day you bought it. And if you take into consideration that some bottles are sealed better than others and sometimes they are stored in hot places or with bright lights or high humidity, etc., then evaporation can be so bad that the whiskey will become undrinkable. Evaporation is more evident in many bottles. Let's say, for example, that 20 milliliters of whiskey evaporate every 20 years. When that happens in a 750 milliliter bottle, the level of the whiskey might go down just a little bit. But in many bottles, it is more evident. The same 20 milliliters represent almost half a bottle. I have here a famous Grouse, a Glenmore NG10, and a Johnny Walker Black Label mini bottles that I have had for about 20 years or so. And you can see that the evaporation is happening. As a matter of fact, I have seen mini bottles that were totally empty. I mean, they were totally evaporated even though they had never been opened. But distillers and bottling companies in general usually go to great lengths to prevent the whiskey from evaporating and going bad. They seal the bottles well. So the whiskey stays as good as possible for a very long time. Therefore, they can last for 20 years or more in the bottle without a problem. But you also have to take good care of them. In order to prevent evaporation, some collectors wrap the whiskey bottles in plastic wrap and or tape. And that is not a bad idea. But I don't usually do this myself because I like to display my bottles. And in my opinion, this just doesn't look good. So I would rather take the risk, but at least I'm enjoying my collection. I only wrap these three bottles right here because they're very special to me. This is the very first single malt in Latin America from Patagonia, Argentina. And this is the regular, the peated, and the peated finished in Chardonnay cask. And I'll tell you about them in some other video. But now let's get back to evaporation. And I want to get behind the camera so I can show you something. I have here several bottles of the Macallan 18 Sherry Oak. From 1997, 96, 95, 94, 93, 92, 91, 90. If you go year by year, the evaporation is barely noticeable. But when you compare the 97, 
to the 90, you can see there is some evaporation. Sure, it's only a little bit for now, but keep it for a few more years and let's see what happens. If the whiskey level starts going down noticeably, you have to make a decision. Sell it. I have actually sold some of my bottles because they were starting to evaporate. Continue collecting it and risk it. Been there. I am doing that. Or drink it. Let me tell you a story. Once upon a time, there was a collector who really liked the Macallan 18 Sherry Oak, and he had a bottle of every year. And I had, I mean, he had a 1989, and the level was starting to be just below the neck. So he opened it and drank it already. He might have been a collector, but after all, Whiskey is made for people to drink it. And he was also a drinker. He was not going to wait until evaporation was out of control like he had seen in photos in social media. So watch out, the Macallan 90, you're next. What should I do with you? Sell you? Continue collecting you and risk evaporation? Or drink you? What do you think I should do? I'll tell you a secret. You can have your cake and eat it too. The secret is always have two cakes. Think about that. Maybe I should have bought three of these. One to sell, one to collect, and one to drink. Hmm, I'll have to think about that.